everyone. Today we're going to revisit Bud Light Platinum. Got a lot of questions as to why I drank this. I said, of course, it's for you guys. And what, if you remember, what really caught my attention for Bud Light Platinum was the advertising, especially during the Super Bowl. It looked like they were advertising Bud Light Platinum, not versus Miller or Coors, but versus traditional Bud Light. And I said, what's the difference? I mean, certainly they look different. Uh, the marketing is slightly different. The color scheme is the same. So why uh, was this one deemed to be cooler for people who go out at night over this one? So I started doing some compare and contrast because honestly, like I said, they taste very, very similar. You probably um, would have to have them side by side to understand the difference. But, uh, quick check. So this one's been around for a pretty long time. This is starting to get more uh, attention in the marketplace. 4.2% alcohol, 6% alcohol. So I think that this target market and uh, these two beers is the same, but uh, for different activities. So this you're gonna find a lot at sporting events. Here they wanna go to the nightclub crowd, right? So it's a little bit stronger of a beer. This one is uh, rice. Rice is the, you know, this additional ingredient. This guy has corn in it. So it, this is probably one of the reasons why it has a slightly different, but yet uh, stronger alcohol content, slightly different taste. Uh, but they're both, again, very similar. So ingredients here are a big super secret. It's water, barley malt, yeast, and rice. This guy is, believe it or not, water, corn, malt, cane sugar, and hop extract. Well, there's also hops in this guy as well, of course. But it's uh, slightly different. Very similar product. Tastes very similar. Different beers completely. Different ingredient different process. This one, 6.6 .6 carbs. Surprise, 5.1. So right away, um, you start seeing a lot of differences. They're both 12 ounce bottles, by the way. Uh, both triple filtered. This one is, uh, this one guy here is brewed a little bit longer and has more malt. So again, giving it that higher alcohol content. And um, let's, let's go ahead and pour these side by side and, and take a quick, quick taste of them. So we got Bud Light, here. And we'll just pour we'll just pour a little bit. We don't have to do a lot. So you can see that there. Smells fresh. That's good. Sometimes if you go out to bars, the bud uh, bud light sometimes will sit around a little bit so it has a uh, slightly skunky taste, but that one's very fresh. And let's check the platinum. By the way, this bottle actually says brewed for the night on it. Roughly the same, there's a little bit more in the Platinum. Yeah, they smell identical. Had that quite a few times at Yankee Stadium. Uh, please note the bubbles in this beer. See how they're flowing directly to the top? That means we have a beer clean glass. If a, gla if a glass of beer glass is dirty, you'll see those bubbles sticking on the side of the glass. So helpful to know uh, when you go out to uh, restaurants whether they're uh, properly cleaning your beer glasses or not. Yeah, you can definitely taste that they're, they're different. Uh, but again, the profile is exactly the same. So if you like Bud Light Traditional, you'll probably really like Bud Light Platinum. If you don't like either, we can't help you here. But uh, if you're gonna drink Bud products, this is gonna give you a little bit more buzz with your cuz, right? More bang for your buck, more buzz for your dollar, right? They cost the same, same size bottle, um, you know, 2%, almost a full 2% higher alcohol. Uh, so this guy probably um, is better for, you know, your, your later night. You're going to, you know, drink if you have a good time, maybe get out of hand. And, and these are probably better, more refreshing during the day if you're, you know, day drinking, out fishing, boating, something like that. Sporting events, uh, something where you don't want to pass out before, you know, your activity's over. So this one's a little bit lighter, um, 
both are actually fairly good for what they are. I mean, they're American beers. Um, you know, we were in a, a real craft and IPA craze right now in America. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with these. Um, you know, we say that uh, you're going to drink what you like and, and like what you drink. Those are the most important things. So, you know, again, find something you like, enjoy it, share it with us. You know, like, share this video, uh, comment on it. So until next time, keep catching a buzz with your cuz.